Hey ladies, my name is Sammy Smythe and I am a consultant here in Australia. So I've just recently gotten back from the Australian launch tour where I attended in Brisbane City and Sydney and Melbourne and a lot of ladies were asking me about my nails. Now this is a new technique that I learnt just before the tour started called sponging. It is amazing. So what it is, is we're using our True Shine Glitter Range. I've got here Sweet 16, Party Dress, Rush, Valley Girl, Splash, and Graphite, I believe. We've also got our top and base coat, and I'm just gonna quickly show you how I've done this. So what you'll need is your LED lamp, you'll need top and base coat, any of your gel, because this works only with gel, gel range, uh, makeup applicator. Now here in Australia you can get them from Big W, Woolworths, The Reject Shop and in America I'm more than sure that you can get them from the dollar store. You'll also need an alcohol wipe. You'll also need, hold on, sorry. I'm gonna have to steal one out of here because I left my kit in Sydney which is just a shame. So you'll also need a cuticle pusher. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our Sweet 16. Now I find a lot of people don't have the best coverage with Sweet 16 so this is why I'm going to use it. Plus I love purple. Okay so what you're going to do is shake up the bottle and what you're going to do is you're just going to apply a long strip along the end. Now I've already done this because I did a pre-video for my team. What you'll need to do is one strip across and then another strip after that. Now if you have natural nails this should be enough to do one coat. If you have natural nails like me, I have talons and my nails are quite long, it might take a little bit more. So what you're going to do, I'll bring my finger up so you can see it a little bit better, you're just going to grab your makeup sponge and just dab it over the top. Now I know you're thinking, oh my god, it's going to get all over my skin. Yes it will, but right after we do this, we will clean it off so we can pop it under the lamp to cure. So I'm just going to bring it back down so I can see what I'm doing. So just keep dabbing over the top, go right up to the top of your nail, don't forget those bits because we need everything covered. And just keep dabbing till you get the effect that you want. Now I like full coverage as you can see on my nails. I played around with my daughter and she just had one, she had one coat but it wasn't, it allowed enough to see a little bit through. Okay, so right now that is one coat, that is my sponge and nearly all of the glitter is on my nail. What has happened with all the extra gel? It has seeped through into the sponge, which allows you to have this glitter effect on your nails. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to grab our cuticle pusher and just quickly clean around your nails. Now, it's quite, this is quite easy. It's just very simply grabbing your white part of your cuticle pusher and just removing any excess. Don't worry if there are a few little glitter spots left over. Just keep going around until all of your nail is cleaned up. Don't forget to go under your nail as well, as glitter loves to hide everywhere. Okay, so I've nearly got it all off. What we're going to do after that is we are going to pop our nail under the lamp. This is going to cure it, which will allow us to pop the top coat on. So that's just me wiping everything off. That's my nail now. I'm just going to pop it under the lamp. So as you can see on this hand, I have, sorry my ring's just digging in. I have put mini poker on top. I wanted just to sort of break up the purple 
on top of the fact that I was going to our Jamberry launch tour and thought maybe I should wear some wraps as well. <laughs> so this is mini poker and a lot of people were telling me it looks sort of like Easter eggs, which I never thought when I did it, but it does look amazing and I do love it. I've also popped on my other na nail splash just to sort of show you what the different effects can happen when you pop it on both nails. So after 45 seconds, your nail will have cured to allow you to pop on your top coat. So as you can see, it's all nice and it's all nice and dried. We are just going to quickly pop on a top coat. Please make sure that the top coat is not um, is not heavy. So make sure that you're just lightly stroking over the top of your nail. Sorry, I'll pop it up here so you can see. Just long, flat strokes and make sure that all the excess has been removed. With our gel range, any excess is not going to allow it to cure properly. So that's just the top coat. We'll pop it back under and after that, my nails will be like this. So they're quite, they're quite shiny as you can see. These have been on my nails, sorry, let's go again. These have been on my nails for just about three weeks. And as you can see with this one, the tips are starting to wear after about two and a half to three weeks. Now I have only put one top coat on this side. I have on this side put two top coats. And the reason why I did that is was to see if there was any difference between the wear and tear of my left and right hand. So this is my right and as, as you can see obviously there is wear and tear and it has come off. This is my left hand side painted the same time and as you can see not as much wear and tear. So it's up to you if you wish to put two coats on you're more than welcome to do that. Please give it a go. Pop down your pictures in the comments below so we can all see the end results. Thank you so much for watching.